Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Program version 0.23, How to Science. In this series we'll be teaching you how to get all the science you need, but not with heroic missions with complicated rockets that fall apart almost immediately after launch, but with nice, some nice basic ro rocketry design, some simple missions that are easy to perform, and to gather science. Last episode we unlocked six of the uh, science or the tech tree nodes and this time we're going to try for a few more but what we're going to try first we're just about ready to go in the orbit but we have to find something out so let's get a command pod a science junior materials bay an antenna to send some data and let's get a couple of battery packs to give us plenty of charge and we're not going to even bother with fuel and rockets because we want to find out with our new materials bay we want to find out what happens when we transmit data that is one of the big changes in point two three there's a cap on how much data you can transmit and get science so if we recovered this vehicle kept it kept the data and recovered the vehicle we get 7.5 science if we transmit we get 1.5 so the question is what happens to all this potential science so our little experiment we're going to transmit this data and see how much charge that takes it brought us all the way down to 120 so 130 electrical charge to transmit uh, materials bay data and now we're going to recover this vessel and we see that we got from our archive here 1.5 science and current data value is 0.25 which I believe is the a scaled measure of what all this is we'll kind of figure that out in a little bit well let's go back now back to the VAB send this same ship out yet again and we will perform our science experiment on the same area and now you'll notice that we barely get any science if we transmit again just just point 0.1 but we get point 6.3 science from keeping the data so that means that the slice of data that we sent back you know was taken off of the potential but if we send a second mission we can get this much of the data. If we send a third mission, we'll get most of this, and the fourth would probably finish it off. So just because we transmitted some data does not mean we've lost our overall potential to get science. So let's go ahead and keep that data, recover this vessel, Now, as you see, we've gotten 6.3 science. Our science is up to 22, which isn't enough to do anything yet, but we'll take a look over here. Science archive. Okay, now we've gathered up most of what's available on the launch pad with the materials bay. And there's still a little bit left, so 0 0.06 is what represents that. So we could get a little bit more 
but not really worth the effort unless we really need you know two science but anyway that's that's a good lesson in what so that means that we're able to go ahead and grab science with a transmitter and then follow that up with later missions that go ahead and retrieve the rest of the science later. So if we need some quick science and a simpler mission, we can send just a probe out or a um, manned mission that doesn't plan on coming back. But we'll try not to leave too many cur kerbals uh, stranded in our solar system. Anyway, that's that. Let's take a look in here. Let's recruit a few more guys here. Matt, Corkle, Dudeberry. Uh, just to have a full slate here. Alright, so now our next mission is to try to get into orbit. So let's load up our Kerbin 2 which is what got us into space but not into orbit. So we need a couple of things now. We need, first of all, we need the science. But let's rearrange things here because this is now heavier. Let's, let's put two of those on there still. Let's, let's keep symmetry. To handle the extra weight when we come back to Kerbin. A couple of extra parachutes. And we won't worry about a transmitter just yet. That's still something in the future. Okay, so that is there. That's added some more weight though. And so this is definitely not going to get into orbit as is. So let's go to the structural. And we have some different kinds of decouplers now. now. Let's go ahead and go with the kind of bigger one here. Let's go to, let's try triple symmetry. And propulsion. We still only have these half tanks, so let's use those. Put this down just a little bit. Add another set below that, and for good measure, let's add top of that off with a quarter tank. And because it does matter now, let's go ahead and get in the habit of using aerodynamics whenever possible. Uh, we can even throw on some winglets. Let's get this lined up. There we go, help us fly straight, and now an engine. Let's go with the vectoring engine yet again. And I think that will do it. Let's see where this will get us. Now we got to rearrange. Let's say this is Kerbin 3. Parachute's up there. Our last Put those together and then when those and that's for that engine in the middle so yes the, we'll leave the middle engine off and fire the outside three and let's see if this will get us again save. Let's get our new crew member. No Jebediah. You're not going to space yet. Let's go down the list here. Where long? How, how's that? Where long, Kerman? Very stupid and only slightly courageous. Let's put him on the launch pad and see how he does. All right, here we go on the launch pad. Let's get our SAS up, get a little closer. He looks excited to go. Throttle up. 
And in three, two, one, lift off. All right, let's see how this flies. Looks like it's going up pretty well. Nice and stable. Let's watch our speed. We don't want to get too fast, too early. Otherwise the aerodynamic drag will make this less efficient. We want to hit about 200 meters per second when we hit the 10,000 meter mark. Halfway through our fuel. Just so slightly turn over. Nice stable aircraft. Uh, getting up there in speed, so let's go ahead and throttle down a little bit. See if we can hit that 200 just as we hit 10,000. A little bit more. Let's get a longer burn out of this. Now we can go ahead and turn over just a bit more. Burp the SAS just to kind of lock its center point in the new location. so slowly and get ready for our separation let's go and throttle that up now now that we're at 20,000 lean over a little bit more because we want some horizontal velocity on this take a look at our map looks pretty solid right now See a mass of 10 tons. See how long this stage lasts us. Take a peek on the other. About 40% of our main tank left. getting up there so I think this should reach orbit let's get into space here get our apoapsis into space stop at about 70 oh. Okay, 79. It's going to stop at 75, but 79 will do. Now lean this right over to the horizontal. Get ready for our orbital burn. I think we have enough fuel for that. The question is, will we have enough to get back down once we've reached orbit? We need to reach about 2300 meters per second in a low orbit. Let's get a little extra speed there. About a minute out. Oh, we are in space. Let's do this from this view. I'm not going to set a, set a um, maneuver node. I'm just going to play this by ear. Just going to get keep our apoapsis about 30 seconds ahead of us. And our nose pointed towards the horizon.
Give it a little more juice. And there we go, 1900, 2000. Still half a tank of fuel. And there goes our apoapsis. And we got periapsis now, 14,000. Let's let ourselves catch up to it a bit. Get our nose down a little bit more as we circle the planet here. Just give it a little bit. See a just small thrust and we're going up quite fast on our periapsis. There we go, in orbit. 79, 75, perfect. Okay, now the science part of all this. There are different biomes on Kerbin. And... On some experiments, you actually detect them from orbit. But Mystery goo, no. You just get near, while in space, near Kerbin. So we've already done one Mystery goo from there when we reached space on our last mission. So we're only getting the remainders of that, but let's go ahead and grab that. We'll save our other canister for when we land. Here's the interesting part. Let's see what our crew report gets. Okay, we already did our crew report and maxed out our science there, so we don't need to do anything with that. So we can save that for when we land. All right. So let's do an EVA. And here's where it gets interesting and a little bit tricky. Uh, we don't, we can hang on the ladder, so we don't need to go spacewalking just yet. Well, let's check out our EVA uh, above Kerbin's grasslands. So we get heat science, and that's all of it. So we'll keep that data. Go ahead and board again. Now let's go ahead and check out what the materials bay has to say. All right, 25 science. Uh, we don't didn't bring an antenna, but as you can see, the penalty for transmitting. But 25, that's a lot, so we're going to go ahead and keep that. All right, now, like I said, the tricky part, especially in the dark side, is that the EVA report in near Kerbin orbit is subject to the biomes on the ground. So now we're above water. Uh, we, d uh, we apparently did that one last time. So we really can't do it again. So we'll reset that. And there's a lot of bush in there. Let's see if we can see. Yeah, I still can't really see a lot. We do approach land somewhere over there. So let's go ahead and oops. Let's go ahead and board our Kerbal. And speed up a bit. Okay, so we're coming over some land now. Let's get uh, EVA. Check out the report. Still over water. Put that away. Click again. Let's see if we can get it. EVA report. Uh, still over water. EVA report. Shores. Okay, that's a new one. So let's grab that. Board. EVA again. Let's see where we are now. Uh, grasslands. Uh, we already have one of these, so that's why it's still... We haven't reported back to base, which is why it's still showing full, but we already grabbed a grasslands biome. So we can reset that. Now, I don't think there's anything new for this part of the orbit. 
Let's check the, the map view and see what's on the light side here. Yes, here's what we want. We want, we want some mountains and some desert and probably highlands are some biomes that I know of. Uh, there's a couple more that I haven't. I also, know that, I also know there's ice caps and maybe one or two others, but I don't know all of them. But anyway, let's go ahead and zoom around to the daylight side. And let's see if we can grab some of these. This is one of the important principles of getting science in KSP. That it's better to go to a new location. And there's different ways of defining that. You know, there's near orbit, high orbit, upper atmosphere, lower atmosphere, on the ground. And so each one of those has its own science and what you can recover. And so we are trying to see what we can discover on this single flight. Okay, let's see. It's hard to tell exactly what we're over, but let's go ahead and start spamming reports. Okay, Carbon's Mountains, that's a new one. Keep that data. We have to board to reset it. Although there is a new way. You don't necessarily have to do that anymore. I'll show you. Kerbin's Mountains still have it. Uh, this might be highlands instead of mountains, so let's see what that is. Nope, still mountains. Let's go just a little further. Still Kerbin's Mountains. As long as we're waiting, let's kind of get let's go ahead and get a screenshot. Urban's Highlands. Okay, that's a new one. Keep the data. Okay, now, instead of boarding, what you can do is you can click there and you can store the experiment. So all I'm stored. So now, he is able to do a new EVA report. For the grasslands, uh, we already have that. We are coming up on desert, so let's go ahead and board so we can do some time acceleration. And get over the desert here. One more EVA report. Or Kerbin's Deserts, that's a new one. Keep the data. And I think that's all we can get from this orbit. We have grasslands, mountains, highlands, desert, and water. Or we had gotten you know, all those at some point. And shoreline, that's the other one. So now really all there is to do is go ahead and land this sucker and see what kind of science we've collected. And if we can... Let's go ahead and get on our retrograde. Look at our map view. Now let's see if we can land on this little piece of desert land there. That would give us a nice piece of uh, science for our landing. So we want to overshoot it a bit and then the drag will bring us back to it. This I do not have a lot of experience with, so we'll see how well... Let's try there. 
And if we land in the water, we can do an experiment there as well. We're trying to hit that desert. All right, let's get around this way. Go ahead and speed up until we hit the atmosphere. Yep, that didn't take long. I'm going to turn off SAS. And I'm going to do a speed up here until we get a little bit closer to the ground. We'll see if we can affect where we land. We still have a little bit of fuel, so we could, if we're going to run long, still, I can shorten it and hopefully land in the desert. I'll be right back. All right, we are down and in the water. I just overshot the land there. So no desert observes observations. Now we can get a little bit from the mystery goo. Uh, don't think we can get anything from crew report. Oh, yes, we can. Uh, simply because of the fact that it probably wasn't worth the last time. We probably got something else better last time. So let's go ahead and do an EVA. Uh, that's not getting us anything. Um, water's getting us something. That's nice. Wasn't expecting that. And EVA report from the water. Okay, so now I could try to get him back in his ship, but what's going to be much easier is going to be to simply recover him, get the science that he just took. is 11.4 and then go back through the space center and recover that and get the science we had on board that all right another 80 wow a lot more than I thought these little eights all add up really fast plus the 25 for the materials bay so that is a good chunk of science, 114. All right, let's go see what that can get us. Science labs, okay, that can definitely get us these next two tech nodes here in the science and technology tree. Let's go ahead and get that one and that one. One thing I'm gonna do with this series is unlock the full tier before moving on to the next one because I want to demonstrate that you don't necessarily have to 
run down particular branches in order to get what you need to get the science to keep moving on. I want to go ahead and get everything from this tier before moving on to the next one. And each one in this tier is going to cost 90 science. So double what these were. And considering there's twice as many, it's four times as much total science to unlock this tier. So we're going to have to really start digging in and finding new places to do science. And really the only place to do that right now is the moon in Minmus. We can get a little more from orbit. We can land on some of the different biomes with science containers and goo containers and get more that way. But the best way to get new science is to go to new places. And that's what we're going to do in the next episode. So I want to thank you for joining me. This has been How to Science in Kerbal Space Program, version 0.23. My name is Jim. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day.